Welcome to DYW Science in the Classroom. Now, most reactions that you probably have heard of start with reactants and they become the products once they've reacted. But a lot of reactions in the industry aren't like that. They do something called equilibrium, which means that the reaction can go forwards as well as backwards. And that's why you see this funny sort of double-headed arrow in there. And that's the equilibrium arrow. So we're going to use one today that's got cobalt uh, species. One of the cobalt species is pink and one is blue. And the equilibrium, these five test tubes are sitting at the equilibrium point at the moment. And you can see it's a sort of colour in the way between pink and blue. And industrial chemists need to know where to push the equilibrium to, to get the product that they want. So if you want the blue cobalt species, you want to be able to push it towards the blue. If you want the pink cobalt species, you want to be able to push it towards the pink. And there are ways you can do this. You can change the pressure, you can change the temperature, or you can add in or take away reactants or products. So we can do two of those today and we can show you this. So the first one I'm going to do is because the pink cobalt species exists with chloride ions, I can add some hydrochloric acid, which supplies the chloride ions, to one of these test tubes. And that should force the equilibrium over to the other side. So it should push it to the blue side. So you can see that's got a lovely strong blue colour. So you force the equilibrium to the right. Now, what if we want the pink cobalt species? The blue cobalt species exists with water. So if we add water, we should be able to push it over to the other side, to the pink cobalt species. So let's try that. And that's happened really quickly. So you can see now the difference between the two cobalt species. One pink, one blue. So I've got two rather big words up here. One is exothermic, and that's when heat's given out in a reaction. And one is endothermic, and that's when heat's taken in from the surroundings during a reaction. Now, if we put one of these into hot water, and we put one of these into cold water, hopefully we will see which way they are pushed in the equilibrium. So we can already see the hot water is pushing it towards the blue cobalt species, towards the endothermic reaction. Whereas the cold water is making it go more pink and that's towards the exothermic reaction. And we can take these and switch them over and force that reaction the other way. It'll take a little while but it should start to change over and you can see it gradually happening. This is really useful to industrial chemists because it means they can control the reactions. And they can also, if you've got a reaction where you want to get something like, say, ammonia, you can take the ammonia out of the reaction and that'll keep forcing it over to produce that ammonia. So it's a really, really useful reaction and it also allows them to know what they can do to control it. And it's very quickly and easily controlled. You can see the hot water is reacting quite a bit faster than the cold, but that is slowly going pink. And that's equilibrium. Like